Okay, so I've had several people ask me, how do we do our labs for our course? And so I figured I'd do a quick tutorial. I went to pearson.ucertify.com. If you are coming to this site brand new, we actually want to go ahead and sign up. Type in the appropriate email. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Helps if I uh, sign up now. I was going to put my information for a different account in there. ITTech.edu. I'm going to go ahead and put in a password, make sure to agree. And then go ahead and click on save. All right, I actually want to go ahead and sign in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and check my email so I can make sure to activate my account. Once you're activated, you are good to go. You'll notice that we now have my library, we have our courses, we have all of that. So once you're here, you're gonna go to my library, go back to my library, and you may get this. Do we wanna add a license? Here's where you're gonna put your license code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a code and then I'm going to register for a self-paced course. Once I do that, my access code should be listed. It's going to verify that I want a self-paced course and it should give us our course name. Notice this is our simulator, so that's what we want. Once you click enroll, it will actually show that you are enrolled in that area and to go to my library to start learning. And here is our simulator. It will give us a little quick run through of all the appropriate information. You should also get an email sh uh, stating that you are now part of it. Click on open simulator to actually open up the simulator. And you may get a no activities. We can actually go ahead and sort by chapter. And here we have our individual parts. Okay, so once you're here, our lab document is going to kind of tell us kind of what we're going to be doing. Here, our lab document currently it just shows us this document right here for our lab steps. But this does not match any of our labs. This is supposed to be part of our lab assessment. However, in the instructor guide, it tells me to review that you've done some pre-labs. For our pre-labs, we're going to navigate to sort by chapter. Because here are our pre-labs. Lab 1, prep, implementing IP version 4 section and complete those pre-labs. So part four, implementing IP version four, happened to be chapter 15, and I want you to do all of these labs. That's all you need to do for the first lab. If you have questions, please let me know. Thank you.